Hello everyone, iSchool Tech here back again with a brand new video. Today we're going to be taking a look at how iOS 13.4 has been on the iPhone 7. Before we get into today's video, if you happen to be in the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications turned on to stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from iSchool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot and it's very appreciated. Let's see if we can hit 1,000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in early June. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. I've been running iOS 13.4 on my iPhone 7 for a few days now and overall my experience has been pretty good but not great. iOS 13.4 brings some new features including iCloud folder sharing, 9 new emoji stickers, revised mail toolbar, universal support between iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and tvOS purchases, CarPlay updates, AR updates, keyboard enhancements, and other improvements. This update is a significant update in the most stable version of iOS 13 yet, so let's take a look at how it performs on the iPhone 7. The iPhone 7 has been great when it comes to general performance. On iOS 13.4, the iPhone 7 flies through day-to-day -day tasks such as opening and using apps, loading web pages, watching YouTube, playing games, etc. I haven't had any apps crash on me and RAM management has been great. My iPhone 7 hasn't had any issues so far with performance. Animations have also been fantastic. They have been so smooth that my iPhone 7 actually feels brand new. I haven't noticed any stuttering or choppiness with iOS 13.4 yet, which is great news. Animations such as opening the, up the control center and notification center, force touching, opening and closing apps, scrolling through web pages, etc. have all been buttery smooth. Now, battery life has been pretty bad for the iPhone 7 on iOS 13.4. I should mention that my iPhone 7 is running a maximum battery capacity of 95% and has never had a restart. This means that my iPhone 7 is not being performance throttled by Apple to maintain battery life and prevent restarts. Many people have been reporting battery drains on iPhone 7 with specific iOS 13 versions. Now I have not noticed a drain on many iOS 13 versions, but iOS 13.4 is one of the few I have. In fact, the battery drain is pretty significant. You can still get a full day out of light use with iPhone 7. However, medium use with the iPhone 7 is where you start noticing the battery drain. While you could still pull off a full day with medium use, you'd probably have to charge it a little throughout the day. And this does mean that if you are a heavy user, you should not expect to pull off a full day. Standby time has also taken a hit with iOS 13.4, and I've noticed a shocking drain of almost 20% overnight. This is very disappointing, and I hope we get a fix sometime soon iOS 13.4 overall has been pretty good. Performance and animations have been great, while battery life does seem to be taking a hit. Now should you update? Well, if you're on an earlier version of iOS 13, I'd recommend staying there until we see some sort of fix for the battery drain. If you're on iOS 12 or older, I'd also strongly recommend waiting there. Now, I will have a short-term full review of iOS 13.4 on iPhone SE coming early next week, as well as a one-week review of iOS 13.4 on iPhone 7 coming late next week. We'll also have a full review of WatchOS 6.2 on Apple Watch Series 1 coming early next week as well, so stay tuned for that. Now, of course, if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright, everyone, that's all I have for you in this video. If you did enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, show me by leaving a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber I get really does mean a lot, and it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out my Twitch, where you can watch me live. Also, check out the iSchool Tech official Discord link in the description down below, as always. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Also, remember to stay iSchool.